Hey there, happy Tuesday. So today's topic is extreme or black and white language. So do you or someone you love um, tend to use this extreme language or black and white, you know, all or nothing language or, you know, oh, it took a million hours to complete this task or, you know, things like those less than accurate language. It has become a little bit of our culture. You know, it's always been, we've always been stretching that, you know, those of my generation started that whole thing with awesome, not meaning it's authentic, bringing awe, you know, bringing awe to what you're seeing is the, the old original definition of awesome is something so amazing that it actually, you know, takes your breath away. And, and now it's just like, ah, something kind of cool is kind of awesome, you know? Um, so, so recognizing this, that when we use extreme language, it's often, um, there are two factors to this of why it may not be great for your mental health or for, you know, communicating your needs. And here's why. So there's two factors to keep in mind. One thing is when we use extreme, and, and by the way, like I have, I, I've been there and it still comes up for me. Um, so know that this is something that I know very intimately. I know, you know, like this used, I used to speak in all the extremes. Notice I just did it again, all. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so, so know that this is not a judgment thing. This is, you know, an experience thing. So anyway, um, the first thing to remember why we use extreme language, it's often because we are trying to express how the situation makes us feel. That it is more important to get across the emotional impact of what we're talking about than it is to get across the fact. Think about that. Is that something that feels familiar to you? The fact that getting across how it feels, the emotional impact on you, those sensations you feel in your body, do you really want that other person to feel how you feel so that they can really, you know, empathize with you, be with you, help you, whatever that is? And is that more important than the facts themselves? Taking no, sometimes that's important. If it's an, an issue that you're passionate about and the other person isn't, that may be a very conscious choice on your part to use extreme language so that they can start to feel that impact. But when we use it all the time, did it again. <laughs> when we do it on a regular basis, even about smaller things, it does lose its impact. And then when we're using that extreme language because it's warranted, it completely loses its power and definition and meaning and all of those things. So that's number one. Notice when you the focus is on making them feel feel the way that you feel and is that in fact important in this particular moment is that more important than expressing the truth or expressing the reality of what's going on so that's the first thing to keep in mind and be aware of and the second thing is when we use extreme and black and white language it's often a, a hint that maybe there's some emotional awareness work that would be benefit you so um, emotional intelligence, emotional awareness, just being aware of what, what sensations in your body are connected to what emotions, being able to name your emotions and being intact with the feelings, the emotions themselves. Because if we are able to recognize, become aware of, and then make choices about what emotion we're in and how it feels in the body, then maybe we can address that so that either we can have more accurate language because now we're not talking about the incident in a grand way we're talking about the emotions and how strong they are so that's a big difference between man it felt like it was a million hours to complete this task or i was in so much anxiety, I was so nervous for the whole eight hours I did that thing. It felt 
huge. The anxiety was so huge. It felt like it was a million hours, even though I know it was only eight. Notice the difference between those two things. Because also when we use extreme language, people don't know we're actually trying to tell them how long was it really, right? So noting that when we are emotionally aware and we do some work around emotions, that then we can ground these things and actually address the reality of the situation. I know I'm talking in, in bigger concepts and less um, details. If this is something that resonates with you and you would like to learn more about this, please contact me because this is this is one of my, my passions is working with this. Um, it, it's something that I love, love, love working with and would love to talk to you about it. So again, reach out, like, share, did all the things, but um, do let me know how this, how this landed for you and let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next, well, you'll see me next week. <laughs>